Uh, what we have is a uh, prototype and deployment target based on an analog device's black fin, which can actually run LabVIEW code. So if you look over here, this is the LabVIEW code that's actually running down on this target right here, over on the right with all the blinking lights. Um, NI has recently come out with something called LabVIEW Microprocessor SDK, which used to be known as LabVIEW Embedded, which is actually a glorified C code generator. Since we do a lot of product design and a lot of embedded design and also have a lot of LabVIEW programmers, it was a good synergy. So we can actually leverage our LabVIEW expertise to do embedded projects, which is a lot of what we do. This right here is our FlexStack product running uh, analog devices Blackfin, stackable, so you can put different functions on there with, with different functionality. This is our data acquisition board. For all, all of you uh, LabVIEW gurus out there, you might recognize that connector as uh, the National Instrument Standard 68-pin connector. So if you look down here, you can see the National Instruments Cable and the Nas National Instruments Breakout. So once our customers prototype something on the desktop using National Instruments hardware, they can take it, plug it into our flex stack, and get a battery-powered, portable, LabVIEW-based application, reusing their hardware on this side as well as the LabVIEW software. This looks similar to some other NI hardware that was sort of in beta mode at some point. I don't know if this is the same or different. Or Are you referring to the Cubix, perhaps? <laughs> yes. <laughs> this. Uh, Cubix was around, as was this, almost at the same time. Oh, okay. And I chose not to go forward with the Cubix, but we chose to go forward with our FlexStack. Okay, because so it's a parallel, it was a parallel system. Yeah, we certainly have seen a, uh, a lot of people very interested in this kind of technology for pre presentable prototypes. How many times have you seen a, uh, a prototype-based system on all these design kits with all these wires all over the place, and you go to your customer, your VC, or your boss, you say, hey, here it is, and they look at it like, so this can be battery powered, this whole thing can be small, you can have a presentable prototype based right. system, and you can still program it in LabVIEW, which is really, we see a big value add as well. This is for a digital printing kiosk. This is one of the three, three colors to uh, put down on a uh, piece of photo paper to get pictures out of a digital camera. So we actually did all the prototyping on a compact Rio to prototype the control system around this tension controller. This is the prototype of the tension controller. Everything was, was eventually made less expensive by castings and by putting, putting all the control code down on a, a custom board based on the analog device's black light. And we got to reuse all that code that we had generated on the Compact Rio down on the target, saving our customers money as well. So we are an example of not necessarily an integrator, but of a product design house that uses the National Instrument tool chain through, throughout the development process. The reason why we have LabVIEW engineers on staff is because once we develop products, typically our customers ask you, can you build a test system for me, for my contract manufacturer? So we do those parts of it as well. Okay, thank you very much. You're welcome.